What's up guys? It's your boy Ryan in Gear Fever. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Today's video is a little bit different. Normally I post reviews and demos of guitar gear, but I've gotten a few questions lately about my rig and specifically about my pedal board. So I thought, you know, I'd hop on here and kind of show you what I've been playing and what my pedal board setup looks like. My pedal board typically changes over on a very regular basis. There was, I don't know, years where every time I played, I was, I put a new board together. This board is, has been consistent for about six months now, which is a long time for me. So we're gonna check it out. I'm playing everything through my, um, my Jennings here. It has Lambertone grinders in it. Check it out here. Um, and this is my pedal board. Now let me just walk you through the signal chain first, and then we'll show you what all of these things sound like. Uh, I'll show you each pedal and how I have them set up, and then we'll show you some tones. So first thing that I have plugged into is my through my Caulfield cables into the 29 pedals Una, which is an impedance. It's like a, a buffer, kind of, but really what it is is it corrects your impedance. So you can kind of, there's a few different ways to EQ your pedals just to sweeten it up or just kind of fine tune the way your guitar sounds. Great if you switch guitars or and or amps throughout your set. Uh, and then out of the Una, I'm going into my Origin FX Cali 76 Compact Compressor. This is set just as a sweetener just to squash everything just a little bit. Um, I play often, I use this board often for Sunday mornings for church stuff, so um, it kind of goes back and forth between really light and really pretty um, and really heavy and really aggressive. And so I just kind of want to even out my output and the compressor is great for that. After that, I'm going into my tuner. I have put my tuner in the send and receive of the 29 many times. It's not plugged in that way today. But I think that uh, it's a it's a subtle difference taking the tuner out of the signal chain essentially. But what I really like about it not being in the send and receive of the 29 pedals is that I can use it as a mute. And that's why I have it that way. Out of the pedal, I am going into the Benson Germanian Fuzz. Now there's definitely some variation on pedal board approach. I like to go high gain to low gain. And I'll show you what that sounds like. There was a long time when I went low gain to high gain. I just think stacking has been a little bit better this way. The impedance knob is basically a volume knob on your guitar. Fuzz is great when it's everything's up at 10, but where a fuzz really gets a lot of its characters when it sounds good, when you roll off the, vo the volume on your guitar pedal, on your guitar. But this pedal has a knob that simulates that. So this is what it sounds like. Sounds really, really good for like, I use them in a worship context for like lead lines and really crunchy rhythm stuff. Um, moving on, from here I have my Benson Amps Protein and uh, this pedal has been on my board consistently longer than any other pedal that I've owned. So this pedal I love, the green side and the blue side I use um, all the time. This is like my overdrive section here. Uh, the green side is loosely based off like a Tube Screamer slash ODR, and it kind of has that like mids thing going on. So here's what this pedal sounds like. a lot for um, rhythm guitar. I think it's a great, great rhythm sound right here at, in any position.
On the blue side, it's like a blues breaker style, but it's got a lot more chime, a lot more high end, really sparkly. It's the brightest blues breaker that I've ever played, but I like it exactly for that reason. I have it set kind of lower, just to kind of push. I use it more as a boost, really, um, than anything. So great for like second verse, you want a little bit more push. Sounds like this, here's the lead. Also I have my amps set up um, just on the edge of breakup. So here it's... When you play lightly or on the neck, it's nice and smooth, but when you dig in, go to the bridge, you start to get a little bit of breakup. Um, and so with the blue side, it sounds like this. Benson Boost, I use um, depending on my rig. So sometimes I'll play through like one of the U, U Audio amp sims or the Iridium. I can set those to edge of breakup, no problem. But when I play with my amp, and usually that's my Benson Monarch, it's really difficult to kind of push the amp well uh, because it's just so loud. So what I'll use the Boost for is a way to kind of get my amp to break up without adding so much volume. Um, but oftentimes this boost is just kind of an always on. It stacks really, really well with the other two drives that I have. So I'll use the Benson boost with the other uh, three drive options that I have all the time. This is what it sounds like clean. adds a little bit of compression, colors the tone just a little bit. I think it helps it sit in the mix better. Um, and then I have all three of my drives going into my volume pedal. Now I've played around with volume pedal placement at the, at the front end, after my drives, even at the end I've done it that way before, but this is my favorite place to put it because I do things like swells all of the time. And I love to be able to hit all of my wet effects still with all the drives. If you put the volume pedal in front, then you're not able to hit your drive pedals as hard and then you don't get any of that dirt in your swells. Um, so I keep it after my dirt. So my guitar signal still gets all of the overdrive that I want and that gets put into my swells uh, because the volume pedals after that. So this is the Dunlop Mini. I mostly use this because the sweep is fine. You can adjust it and uh, it's small. And so I like the smaller ones to save some space. Moving on to modulations and wet effects. I have been using the Universal Audio Starlight, which is the delay for a long time. And the U Audio stuff is as good as it gets when it comes to tone. There are other pedals that are as good as the Starlight, but this is just um, so easy to use. Every single sound sounds really good. And I use it mostly for subtle delay um, or I use uh, use it for swell. So this is, I have it set right now for the analog, like deluxe memory man sound. And it's the closest sounding to the original I've ever played. So it's just a nice warm background repeat. This is what it sounds like. Let's, here's clean. a little bit of movement let's I have it on dotted eighths often when I need it for more 
more swells or something like that, I'll just pump up the feedback in the mix. And then and that's a reverb or something like that. And we'll down. Uh, keeping it in the U-Audio family, we're going to move on to my modulation station. This is the Astra, uh, the Astra modulation mach machine. I have two settings that I use all the time. The first one is a subtle chorus. Here's what that sounds like. is really sweet just really authentic sounding chorus I use it to kind of give a little bit of texture to lead lines I also really like to use it on rhythms like for big choruses it gives a little bit of a volume boost plus a lot of cool texture and color to it so um, I think it keeps things really exciting the other way that I use the Astra that I have stored in the preset side is a really soft tremolo I think the tremolo is really pretty, really nice, um, really good for down sections or where it's just guitar. I think it's really powerful and gives a lot of like emotive feelings to your playing. So um, the only bummer about the Astra here is that you can't play chorus and the tremolo at the same time, uh, but I've always just picked one or the other. So lastly over here, I have the Specular Tempest, which contains my favorite delay algorithm of all time, which is the uh, Spadium. Um, I've got it set to a pretty medium uh, sized reverb that I use um, now and then. Um, usually like if I'm playing with my amp, I have the amp reverb up just a little bit to give it a little bit of life. But this one is set to kind of fill out the space really nicely. So here's clean. Just really pretty, really full. Sounds really good even when you're driving it a little bit. So let's go up here and we'll play something. but I love it. it doesn't really get in the way so even if you're playing like some lead lines it's like <laughs> Reverb is there and fills up the space. It's not really getting in the way. Sometimes I'll add some uh, a little bit of delay to that too. So.
So that is the full pedal board. I think that this collection of pedals does almost everything that I needed to do. Every once in a while there'll be like a modulation effect or something that I don't have that I would like, but that's super rare. So um, do you want to hear anything else of these pedals? Let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like. If you want to hear anything more out of these pedals, let me know. You can do individual demos of any of these things. Um, I don't know, I've never really done worship covers, but if that's something you want to hear, how this pedal is used on a Sunday morning, I can absolutely do that too. So please make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. As always, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Ryan at Gear Fever. Good tones, good times. We'll see you next time.